Hi everyone, Damien Fate here and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. I want to show you today how to make your own custom content for the game that you can put out like any of the other models that are already built into the game and also share it with your friends. And it's pretty easy and I'm super excited to show you how to do this. Uh, so here's one of the houses in my village and it's completely empty. And you'll know if you've gone around and sort of explored the world yourself that you want to found many assets that you could put out in inside of houses. There's not really many furniture pieces that you're going to find out in the wild. So let me show you the brick builds here and look, there's a new item. It's a simple couch. Now because this has been made outside of LEGO Worlds, I can put it down quite easily inside a building and not worry about having to build it from scratch. Here we go. And there we go, a simple couch. Inside the house, nice, nice and nice and easy. So how did I do this? I'm going to show you right now. First thing to do is to download a separate program called the LEGO Digital Designer. This is a free program to download that you can get from the official LEGO website. There'll be a link in the description below for it. And I'm going to show you real quick how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by loading the simple couch I made. And you can see we've got a sort of an isometric view of a little build area. And I'm going to modify the couch slightly so that we can check it out in real time. And oops, I didn't mean to delete that. <laughs> Uh, so one of the things you want to make sure you do first, because there are a lot of blocks in this builder that don't actually exist in LEGO Worlds. Uh, if you make something with those, it's not going to work. So we're going to use a custom palette, which is actually here. It's called a uh, filter brick, bricks by boxes. And we're going to use the custom LEGO Worlds palette. Uh, somebody actually already made this. I didn't put this together, so thank you very much to them. There'll be a link in the description to the custom palettes. And now we can choose from the blocks that already exist inside the game. Uh, so I'm just going to make a little, little modification to the couch, nothing special, uh, just so that you can see how it works. We're just going to add, uh, let's see, a couple of blocks to the back to make it extra fancy because, you know, extra blocks in the back of a couch make it super fancy. And uh, this is how easy building should be inside of LEGO Worlds, in my opinion. Uh, but this is nice and easy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, save the project. Okay. And then we need to do... Uh, first of all, get a nice camera angle of it, because you need to make a picture of it so that you can find it easier in LEGO Worlds. Uh, so right here in the toolbox, there is take a screenshot. So we're going to do that, and we'll call it uh, Simple Couch 2 because I don't want to overwrite the, uh, the actual couch that I like. And then we're going to export the model, and this is important, you need to export it as an X LXFML file. Right there, okay, and make sure it's named the same as the picture you just made, so Simple Couch 2. Now, uh, that's the user palettes thing, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Uh, so now we've got the Simple Couch 2 LXFML file and the Sim Simple Couch 2 PNG file. That's the picture of it. Let me just open that up real quick. And then you can see a picture of the couch we made. We're going to copy these from your documents, LEGO Creations, Models folder. And we're going to put it into a folder that already exists in LEGO Worlds. Uh, you need to go to your App Data folder, Roaming, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, LEGO Worlds, Mods, models, <laughs> and then you can pop them in here, just like this. And so now we've got uh, the simple couch too. And we're going to go straight back to the game. And also magically, it should be here. You can see already that our brick builds has increased from 57 to 58. And there it is. Nice and simple. And now obviously you could spend a bit more time doing this, uh, but I'm doing it really quick just to show you, uh, because this is the feature that I really wanted. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and make it into a double-decker couch, because why not? Uh, those little things I added on the side would be great to add uh, little poles onto it. And there we go! That is how easy it is to bring your own custom content into LEGO Worlds. And uh, I'm also going to put in the description below some links to community websites where people have already made so many things using the LEGO Digital Designer. Uh, some of them won't work in LEGO Worlds because they may use bricks that we don't have here. Um, but as LEGO Worlds continues in development, 
uh, the developers have said that they're going to add some of those extra br bricks in. So in the future, you'll be able to bring in so many amazing things that people have spent a lot more time on than my silly little couch. Anyway, that's it from me. All the links and relevant information are in the description below. I hope you have lots of fun with this. And uh, you know what? I'm going to add my little couch there so you can download it too. As silly as it is. If you have any great creations, please share them in the, the uh, comments section. And if you like the video, please do give it a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!